Welcome back again for this week's edition of the Bulldog Broadcast, bringing you the news and updates from BHS. Even though many things have been canceled or put on hold lately, the annual homecoming ceremony is back again at BHS. Next week will be Spirit Week, with the week ending with the traditional homecoming ceremony at halftime of the football game against Osawatomie. The candidates for Queen are Cambria Crow, Emma Grossamine, and Olivia Kerr. The candidates for King are Hudson Allen, Jacob Hoffman, and Drew Schoendaller. Students will cast their votes next week to elect this year's winning royalty. Next week will be Spirit Week, with students dressing up to themes each day. Monday theme is PJ Day, Tuesday's College Slash Sports Day, Wednesday is Decades Day, Thursday is Costume Day, and Friday is Fancy Friday. While BHS students will be voting for Homecoming King and Queen, the entire country will be voting in the upcoming election on November 3rd. American citizens will vote for a president among many other positions. Being in Drew Schoendaller asked around BHS to see how they felt about the upcoming election. I'm here with Grace Parker, and who would you choose, uh, Trump or Biden? Uh, definitely Biden. I agree with him most on a lot of very pressing topics like climate issues, race issues. Um, yeah, I just think he's the best candidate. Alrighty, I'm here with Ian. What would you choose? Trump. Alright, I'm here with Ainsley, and who would you choose? I would choose Biden because he supports things like women's rights and Black Lives Matter, and I think that's really good. All right, I'm here with Kate and Trump or Biden or a third party and why? Biden and because I don't like Trump in any way. All right, yeah, I'm here with Ian and Trump or Biden or a third party and why? Uh, I would have to say Trump mainly because of his policies and I agree with most of his stuff that um, he puts out there. Yeah, I'm here with Maddie and Trump or Biden or a third party and why? Um, Trump and because he puts America before himself. I'm here with Mr. Brittingham, and who would you choose, Trump, Biden, or a third party? Before I would even vote, I would like to have like civil conversations about who you're going to vote for. And then when we have those civil conversations, what I think would be fantastic is if we had the ability to um, actually say why you're going to vote for somebody as opposed to why you're not going to vote for somebody. So like when I go and discuss who I'm going to vote for, I want to at least have some like conversation like, oh, you're, you're voting for Trump. Can you tell me why you're voting for Trump? Or, oh, you're voting for Biden. Like, tell me why you're going to go vote for who you're going to vote for and then not interrupt me and then have a civil conversation about it. Thank you. Mic drop. <laughs> Speaking of sports, next we will go to Drew again, this time for a Bulldog sports report. The fall sports teams have been competing hard as usual, representing our school in the playing field. The volleyball team had a big win on senior night in our home gym, defeating Tonganoxy for the team's 10th win of the season. The senior class was recognized Brooklyn Chase, Emma Grossmi, Daniela Kozakova, and Jasmine Rainier. The cross country team competed in the Frontier League meet yesterday at Ottawa, with the girls team finishing second and the boys team finishing seventh. Top runners for the girls was Riley Smith and with Hudson Allen for the boys. The team will host regionals at the Baldwin Golf Course next Saturday. The girls tennis team ended their season at the regional meet. The number one doubles team of Graceland Hinderleiter and Raylan Vigna advanced in the tournament, but just barely missed qualifying for the state meet. All other players were eliminated in the first round. The tennis team overall had a great season. Way to go, girls. The football team will travel tonight to take on Santa Fe Trail in a big district game. The Bulldogs have a chance to advance to the postseason playoff round if they can get wins over Santa Fe Trail tonight and Osawatomi next week. The JV team defeated Wellsville 50 day earlier in the week and have been undefeated so far this season. The Bulldogs soccer team played Tong and Oxy on the home field yesterday, winning by a shutout score of 3-0. Goals were scored by Caleb Carr, Colby Zimmerman, and Colin Ediger. Baldwin now has a record of 8-4-1, heading into the final stretch of the season. Good luck, Bulldog Nation. Before we go back to Harper in the studio, we now have a special segment brought to you by seniors Grace Parker and Addie Trindle. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the most important segment of the Bulldog News. The segment that really makes the whole show worth watching. This or that with Addie and Grace. On this week's segment, horror or comedy? To get into the spooky season, we want to know if BHS students prefer peeing their pants from fright or from laughter. Personally, I like peeing my pants from laughter because it's a good ab workout, and laughter's good all year round. I'm going to have to go with horror. I laugh enough in my daily life, and I really appreciate the craft that goes into horror movies. Now let's go ask our fellow peers around the school. I'm here with senior Ian McCoy. Horror or comedy movies? 
I like horror movies. Why? Uh, because I really like fall and Halloween. All right. I'm here with senior Jalen Murray. Do you prefer horror or comedy movies? Uh, I like comedy movies better. Why is that? I'm not big on getting the pants scared off of me. Great answer. <laughs> I'm here with freshman Emma Searle. Do you prefer horror or comedy movies? Um, I prefer horror movies. Why? Um, I like scary movies because um, I like a thriller and I like to watch them with my friends like on a like dark night and at sleepovers. Good answer. I'm here with sophomore Jonathan Wren. Do you prefer horror or comedy movies? Comedy movies. <laughs> and why is that? Uh, I like funny better than horror. All right. Any other reasons? No. All right. That's fair. I'm here with senior Megan Thomas. Do you prefer horror or comedy movies? Comedy horror movies. Oh, and why is that? Because they're not scary, but absolutely hilarious while um, having the theme of gore. Oh. Okay. Thank you for that. Hello, I'm here with Junior Dale Michael. Do you prefer horror or comedy movies? Comedy. Why? They're funny. Good answer. All right, I'm here with sophomore Kendall Nichols. Do you prefer horror or comedy movies? Comedy. And why is that? Because I don't like being scared. Great answer. I'm here with senior Amber and Stewart. Do you prefer horror or comedy movies? I prefer horror movies. Why is that? Because I like living my life on the edge and being scared 24-7. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's Bulldog broadcast. Have an awesome weekend, and don't forget to always walk on the right side of the hallway and stay classy.